Welcome back to the channel. So I have a Breitling unboxing. Uh, this is a 2019 release. Um, I'm not going to give it away yet. You guys will see it as soon as I get this thing opened. I did open it when I got it earlier today just to get it out of the box, sized it, did all that kind of stuff, but uh, I just couldn't wait. So at least I'll show, share it with you how it comes. This is not really a review. This is just uh, kind of a overview, quick look. And of course, you'll see a lot more of this watch and I will uh, be putting... Um, you know, a full review in the in the near future. But um, I love Breitling. I'm I'm not new to the brand. I've had many in the past. Some Chronomats, uh, Chronomat Evolution, Chron Chronomat B01. I've had a bunch of Super Oceans. I've had the uh, Aerospace models. So I love Breitling. They're a great brand. Um, they're very well made. They're tanks and um, very good bracelets, finish work. They do use ETA movements, um, and they do have uh, kind of a collaboration between Tudor on on um, um, the newer. Well, actually, what they're using is a, the seventy hour uh, Tudor movement in some of their like heritage line. Um, but this one has the AT, ETA movement in it, so the twenty eight twenty four. So let's open her up. Okay, here it goes. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Nice brown. I just love their their brown uh, um, Breitling little inner cases. And here's the uh, hang tag. Breitling. Nice. I love it. Put that down. There was the case back there. Case back sticker, I mean. Um, I took a link out. It's in there. I have the warranty cards, all that other stuff. And we'll get into that in the full review. That way you guys see the the full kit and all that kind of stuff. Um, so let me put this off to the side. Let's get the uh, watch open or the case open. So here we go. Wow, it is the Super Ocean, uh, Super Ocean 42. Let me take this off. Yep, I love these little plastic Breitling things. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's open it up. Get it off the pillow here. And like I said, I already sized it. I only needed to take out one link. So it worked out just perfect for me. Um, but um, let me make sure there's no smudges or anything so you guys can see it. So this is 2019 Breitling, uh, 2019 release Breitling Super Ocean 42. Just absolutely beautiful. There's a little speck on the glass. I don't like that. Um, what I do love about Breitling is you can almost touch those hands. I mean, they use AR coating like nobody's business on the top and the bottom, of course, you know, inside and out. But uh, wow, just beautiful. Look at that polishing, that Breitling B on the uh, crown. Just super nice. These bracelets are amazing. Kind of a pain in the ass to to um, uh, size. I mean, they're not too bad. They're just kind of a pain. They've got, they have screws, of course, but very well made. You got some micro adjustments there. There's no uh, diver's extension. You're not going to get that with a Breitling. I, I haven't seen one with it, but um, God, it's just beautiful. This is the 42 for it. So it's 42 across. It's a little over 50 tip to tip. And then thickness is like, I don't know, 13, 13 and a half. So very good sizing. And of course, it's running the ETA 2824-2, um, which is the Breitling uh, B17 movement. So they completely modify the 2824, you know, their own barrels and, and springs and everything. I mean, they, they, they go through it. So it's not like your standard ETA. I mean, this is, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to put it on the time grapher. I'm going to show you guys um, how great this um this movement's running I'm, I'm i'm impressed um but just beautiful these these are not ceramic inlay it's like the other ones were like um like a rubber type material i believe but this is some kind of dlc coated i'm not really sure how they do this but the um the numbers are raised you can see it there they're raised so just beautiful very durable what i like about this is you know i was looking at you know omega i was looking at all these different brands and um, they're just like dress watches. They look like dress watches. And this to me looks like a tool watch. It's a, it's still a tool watch. 
and um, just the way they finished it, absolutely just beautiful. Of course, it's a certified chronometer, um, but just amazing, amazing work. Breitling does a great job, guys. Great job. Nothing cheap. Great brand. I like how they put those the screws in the, uh, it's a captive bezel, so you can't just pop it off. You gotta unscrew the, the screws there, but very nice. Let's put it on the time grapher, or you know what? Let's put it on my wrist, seven and a half inch wrist. You guys can get an idea how it wears. And like I said, I only had to take out one link and it's just fits me perfect. I love that. 42 is like the, the sweet spot. 42 and then 50 tip to tip. I like how thin it is. You know, if you had any, if you had a in-house movement in this thing, it'd be fat. You know what I mean? But I just love that slim twenty-eight twenty-four, uh, and that's kind of a bigger movement anyway compared to like the twenty-eight ninety-two. But uh, I love how they're still using these movements, and it's very easy to service. Anyone can, you know, any any, you know, anyone watch being been a watchmaker for at least a year, you know, they'll be able to service this thing. So very nice. Now let's put it on the time grapher. And you guys will see just amazing timekeeping. Okay, there it is. Let's turn it on, the sound on, so you get a little bit of music there. So there it is. So amplitude's very high, 331. Look at that beat error, 0 .0, 0, 0, that is great. That means the balance spring, oscillator, everything's all balanced on both sides. There's nothing uneven at all. Everything is completely dialed in. We're at plus four seconds right now, but I know it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better because earlier it was like at one. So once it settles down, you guys will see that, but uh, just amazing, the timekeeping. So do you really need an in-house movement? Do you really need an in-house movement? You have a 2824 quality watch movement that's done by professionals, okay? Who does it better than Breitling, okay? So just like Tudor, you look at the Tudor that I have with the 2824, that also has great readings as well. So it's top notch, top notch. So I'm super happy about this. Um, let's do a loom shot. I, I know this is kind of turned into a review, but let's just do a loom shot and then we'll close and then I'm gonna wear it for a while and then I'll do my full review. But um, I really like this, guys. I haven't had a Breitling for a while, like I said, and you know all these other watches out there, and they're just like dress watches, you know. And I love a tool watch. I love a, a dive watch that's a tool watch, and that's what this is. And um, well, yeah, look at that. So let's kill the lights. Kill this one on this side. There we go. Oh, it's screaming! Look at that. So legible. You know, and what's cool is I like Breitling. I like their dials. Sometimes people complain they're a little cluttered, um, but I think this one is just right because it's super, you have that uh, six, 12 and nine there, and it's just at any angle you look at it, especially with that crystal, the AR coating, you could just see that perfectly at any angle. And the hands are proportioned well, everything's perfect on it. You got that giant arrow sweeping around. So that is very nice. Let me turn the lights back on. So there you have it, guys. This is uh, Marshall Time. First look at the Breitling Super Ocean 42. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.